I wanted to do this on video uh, as opposed to putting out a statement or doing a press conference or anything like that because I want you guys to hear it directly from me. I want to speak directly to you and the city of Houston um, so you can hear the words straight from my mouth. Um, I have sat down with the McNair family and I have asked them for my release and we have mutually agreed to part ways at this time. Uh, I came here 10 years ago as a kid from Wisconsin who'd never really been to Texas before. And now I can't imagine my life without Texas in it. Um, the way that you guys have treated me, besides draft night, I mean, you guys booed me on draft night, but uh, every day after that, you treated me like family. And I truly feel like you're my family. Um, since that day, I have tried to do everything in my power to work and earn your respect and try and make you proud on and off the field. Um, you guys have given me everything and more, and I can only hope that you feel like I've given you everything I have. Um, the city of Houston has been unbelievable to me. It's where I met my wife. Um, it's where I've met lifelong friends and my teammates. Um, I've had incredible coaches and training staff and equipment staff and cafeteria workers and the weight room staff and uh, the front office people and people on the streets, people in restaurants and grocery stores and showing up in my house. Um, the connection is special and I will never ever take that for granted because I know how rare it is. Um, I'm excited and looking forward to a new opportunity and I've been working extremely hard. Um, but at the same time, it is, it is always tough to move on. And, uh, I just want you guys to know that I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the McNair family for giving me, uh, drafting me and giving me my first opportunity in the NFL. Thank you, Houston. I love you.